What is up, everyone? Happy Friday. It's Friday, October 27th, 2023. And we got a little bit of a bounce today after a red day yesterday. The um, Amazon and Intel leading the NASDAQ here with Amazon up after earnings and Intel up after earnings. So we'll see if we uh, catch a little bounce back today after the struggles uh, struggles the market had yesterday, especially the NASDAQ. It was it got really hurt yesterday. Intel up over 6%. Uh, Amazon up 5.5%. Tesla up about 2.5%. Meta up 2%. Today is Friday, so we will use the 7 DTE for the Mighty 90 and Runner strategies. So not using the 0 DTE. So if you're trading the Runners and Mighty 90 like I am, make sure you've got the correct option chain open up. Um, you can't chain, you can trade the 0 DTE, but it just moves really fast. And you can be affected by theta decay pretty quickly. There is the bell. So we are off and running. Um, yesterday I had two winning zero DTE iron condors. Uh, so I, I kind of been playing with uh, the time is when I put them on. Um, I put them on. I, I've been, I put them on sometimes right the first five minutes the market opens. And then there's times where I'm, I'm waiting till about nine o'clock central or about 15, 20 minutes after the market is open. And I've found that so far it appears that uh, given it 15, 20 minutes, um, I, I, I get stopped out less. So. Morning, Mumblebee. Yesterday, yesterday afternoon, huh? Yeah, I, I, have, I haven't done any of the afternoon stuff yet. I'm just focused on the morning stuff. Um, but yesterday, and I, I've been keeping track kind of with my, I have a, I'll show you here. I have a uh, trade tracker here. Um, so yesterday, let me just highlight yesterday. Oop, not that. Yeah, so, uh, let me show you yesterday. Well, although yesterday, I, I, they were both winners, but um, do this again here. These were the two from yesterday. Come on. Uh, they were both winners, but um, so 836, so that'd be after six minutes after market open, and then 911, so that's, you know, that's 25 minutes after market open. They were both winners, but um, I was able to shed three of my four contracts um, in uh, the second one. I, I, I do get a bigger credit if I do it right out of the gates but uh so in my notes here i'm putting like the time that i'm getting in just kind of keeping track of keep track of it i've only been i've only been doing that for about a week so no nothing scientific yet or anything the vix is uh down two and a half percent. Let's 
So it's Friday. So um, just try to get a couple trades in on a Friday. And it's not my favorite day to trade. So. Sometimes you can get a lot of chop on a Friday. Dow is down 49, NASDAQ up 150, S&P up 15. Uh, just go to the just go to the live stream and click the link. Morning, rookie trader. The the link is under the uh, live stream channel. our second bar here so we looking for some volume coming in here Sometimes volume's a little low on a Friday as well. Don't always get those volume runners right out of the gates. Tesla pushing up a little bit. Yeah, it's about halfway there. I don't think it's going to get there, though. Again, using the 7 DTE. So make sure you're on the 7 DTE.
Airbnb coming down. A little bit of volume. Tesla flipping back and forth from red to green. Base coming down. I just don't think anything's going to get there. Got about 15 seconds left, so nothing, nothing, nothing getting there. I've got a few iron ducks that got they're right in the middle of the duck head or in the duck head. Could use a little bounce today from some of them so, so they don't get too close to the exit. Nothing, nothing from the start here. Again, Fridays usually a little, a little less trading on Fridays. I'm just trying to get maybe a couple in. Then get out. Intel pushing up, up over 10% now. Amazon up over 6. So we'll check check for some mighty nineties here. I'd like to maybe see some mighty mighty ninety longs. Was the Nasdaq strong? Boeing pushing through highs of day. Not looking too promising right now. <clears throat> Meta pushing through highs of day, though. Pushing through highs of day, though. Goog pushing through lows of day. So we got Goog coming down, Meta and Amazon pushing up. Nvidia coming down to lows. So a little two sided action here. VIX coming up to highs of day, though. Yeah, 
Airbnb. Mm, if this bar gets as big as the first, it's a downside volume runner. It wouldn't be a mighty 90. Let me check. Uh, let me check on toss. Oh, that's weird. Toss has first bar is a green bar, but it's obviously not green. <clears throat> yeah, I, it, it's almost as big as the first, so I. I I wouldn't trade that. I mean, it is a little bit bigger than the previous one, but it's pretty close, and it's as big as the first. So I would definitely treat that as a downside volume runner. Let's see what bid ask is here. It's not too bad. Yes, Boeing be more of a mighty 90 than Airbnb. But it's pulled back a little bit. But yes, that is definitely a better, better looking mighty 90. We'll see if it pushes back up. It pushes back up and gets through highs, then I can get short. Everything else is just stair stepping down in volume, which is pretty typical for a Friday. Wing base. The bars is about as big as the first, so I would play that as a downside volume runner, but it's bouncing a little bit here. It'd be low risk. I'm gonna try some Coinbase downside volume runner. The 75 puts. They get filled at 525. Filled at 525. And so if it pushes up very much, then I'll just bail on it and be a small losing trade. I'll put an order in at 575 to close half of Coinbase. Boeing hasn't, yeah, Boeing came down. So scratch that. Good staying weak. So I'm not really sure which direction this market wants to go right now. Amazon staying strong. Microsoft pushing highs of day. Get a better fill than me in Coinbase, probably. So if it pushes above right there, I would I would bail on it.
Yeah, Airbnb would have good been a good one to jump in a downside volume runner as well. I probably should have got in on that one. It was it was bouncing towards the end of it. S&P coming down. NASDAQ coming down. Broke you through lows. Microsoft getting a mighty 90 short. So it's got some volume pop there. So take a look at that. 7 DTE. 332.5 puts. Build at 495. So if it pushes up, I can add to it, or if it comes down, I'll just get out of it. I would get out of half my Microsoft at 550. So looking for two red bars out of Microsoft before it comes back up. Coinbase pushing back up. It was thought I was going to get filled. I was real close to getting filled on half, and now I may be bailing on it. Fridays, I definitely like the Mighty 90 better than the runner because you just got that really strict rule, you know, two bars and two consecutive bars in the direction you want, you know, you wanting to go. And volume runner, it, it has a strict, it has a strict rule too, but, um, you know, there's some comfort in that Mighty 90. So definitely getting some chop already. You can see Boeing's trying to get two two red bars. So it would have been a probably would have been a winner on that mighty 90. Meta looks like it might be setting up for an upside continuation. It's got to push up, a little pullback. Still pretty early for a upside continuation, though.
build at 550 to get on half of Microsoft. Nice push down there. So Coinbase, uh, what it's doing. We could have another Coinbase at six bucks. Not many good signals here today. And Coinbase to push through lows. So Microsoft has given me one red bar. So I was kind of hoping to give me one more before it starts to take off. I mean, the NASDAQ is strong, so. Really seeing anything. Home Depot staying weak. Dow is down eighty seven, Nasdaq up one thirty, and S and P up four four point six. And Microsoft popping back up. So let's see it get pushed back down, please. Then you can go up all you want, Microsoft, after you give me one more red bar. NVIDIA already in chop mode. Roku already in chop mode. And Microsoft just popped right back up. It's definitely not what I wanted to see. Wow, it's quite the push. Dick's really coming down. I'm going to go ahead and jump out of my Microsoft. I know I haven't, not waiting for two bars, but Vic's really coming down now. Filled at 480. To close Microsoft. So. Just don't like that price action at all. You could definitely hold it and, and still wait for two red bars and you know, who knows? It may it may reverse on this next five minute bar, but with the VIX falling like it is, um not you know 
Uh, NASDAQ is strong, up a 1%. Just not going to. Just had a quick trigger today. I mean, it blasted through highs like it was nothing. Yep, Trader Jim. Kind of feels like a typical Friday. <clears throat> Another thing about Microsoft is I just decided, hey, I'm going to just go ahead and take a small winner on this trade. It just strong market, really nice push. Some stocks coming down. I mean, it's just hard to hard to. Sometimes it can be hard to get you know feel for what market wants to do. We could get Coinbase to push through lows. That would really help. I mean, keep an eye on Boeing for a potential upside continuation. It's pushed up, and now it's it's kind of consolidating. So I want to see how far down it goes here below this consolidation level. Yeah, it looks like it might be falling here. So now the VIX just popped right back up. So that's some weird, weird price action going on here. I got a feeling Boeing is going to stay strong, though. I have a feeling it's dipping its toe down below this consolidation, and it just popped right back up. So I'm going to look at a continuation to the upside in Boeing. A 180 calls. Filled at 4.05. So I've seen this happen a lot where it, it dips down below it and then it pops back up. Now, if it, if it doesn't want to pop back up, I'll just, you know, quick exit. Actually, a lot of stocks here are now coming right back down. S&P just went red. So it looks like this might be a little bit of a flush starting here. I'm going to I'm going to give it just a little more time here, see if this Boeing bounces back up. And if it doesn't finish strong, then I'll cut it. For a small losing trade. You see how MU MU kind of dipped its toe down below this little consolidation level and popped right back up. I'm, I'm wondering if Boeing's going to do that. And if it doesn't, I'll just cut it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it wants to. Might be getting weak here. So we're halfway through the bar. So this is this will be the key here in the last half um, of this five minutes. Will it pop right back up? That's what I want to see. Target. Uh, yeah, it did have a bar, a big bar. Now it's got a big red bar. So it's. Giving two different signals there.
S&P popped back green. So you can see like Roblox. The Boeing so far is doing what I want to see it do on this the last half end, the back end of the five minute bar. I could have got a little bit better fill. That's the only thing. Now oh, Apple pushed up to highs. Roku getting a mighty 90 long, but it's already bounced up. It definitely has a very tight range. Okay, so Boeing, I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to hold it now because see how it popped back up. So it had this push up, a little consolidation level. Pushed down for a couple of minutes and said, no, nah, I don't like that. I'm going to push back up. So now I want to see it on this five minute continue higher. If it comes down below where this was, then I'll, I'll cut it. Yeah, I mean, Airbnb had a big green bar, but I'm not, I'm not going to play any of that because it's had big red bars too. So this is doesn't nothing consistent there. Coinbase not really going anywhere yet. So I want Boeing to do what some of these others have done. Look at Microsoft. Definitely, definitely just good out in Microsoft on that. Ah, come on, Boeing. VIX down three and a half percent now. So see how Tesla pushed down, then it popped right back up and ended up getting a green bar out of that last five minutes. S&P went red. Now it's up eight points. So it did not like being red. But Boeing is not going anywhere at the moment. Apple has a little mighty 90 long, but... And look at Microsoft getting strong. Need to see something out of Boeing here quickly. Wing base. It's not doing what a volume runner should do. I'm going to go ahead and exit Coinbase. Build at 540. So I got short on a volume runner as far as big as the first when it popped up here and it just never broke through lows. And so and I gave it 20 minutes. Volume runner, you want it to turn over quicker than that. So pretty much a scratch trade there. A little bit of pop, a little bit of green. QCOM, yep, definitely Mighty 90 and QCOM. Uh, but it's already come down. What I would say about QCOM, though, is it's a really tight range. So I probably wouldn't get in that, even though it's a good Mighty 90 signal in terms of volume. But the range is so tight. Roku, kind of same thing. It had a nice little Mighty 90 long. See the volume pop right there? In Roku, but man, the range is just so tight. You're just not going to get anything out of that.
I entered a zero DTE iron condor. Uh, what, time, what time did I enter it? I entered it um, five minutes after the market opened. And so far it's looking good. And it, I'm not entering another one yet because it has price hasn't moved that much. <clears throat> so it may just be with just do one today. Let's see. Yeah, JPM, we're getting a little bit mighty 90 if it pushes down one more time. It's already bouncing, so I might consider entering. It's pretty tight range as well, but. I have an order in at 445 to close half of my Boeing. Man, I thought I was going to get filled there. So with it being a continuation runner, now I want to see it push up. I got filled on something. What did I get filled on? Oh, I got filled on 20% uh, of my iron condor. Sweet. So Boeing, I want to see it continue up now. I don't want to see it just chop. Yep, yep. Just paper trading the zero DTE. So... It's been going the month of October has gone pretty good. Yeah, things aren't, things have slowed down. Yeah, that Roku Mighty 90 is a really good looking, like that's what I look for um, on a normal day, you know, not a Friday. It's a nice volume pop separation there. Filled at 440, uh, 450. Filled at 450 in Boeing. I had an order in at 445 and it filled me at 450. Yeah, so uh, Trader Jim, so... I would I would I would tribute this Boeing to just knowing experience of price action. You know, probably two years ago, I would have bailed on Boeing right there as it got below went below that consolidation. But instead I waited till this bar finished and in the last two minutes it finished going up, so I held it. Like that's simply a price action experience. Seeing this happen many times, 
dip its toe down below where the consolidation is, and it comes like, ooh, I don't like that. I'm coming right back up. You know, if you ever you ever in a, a slump and you, I mean, a lot of times I used to when, when I was, you know, a couple of years ago, starting to day trade for the first time, I would sit there and just watch price action, like even and even though I wasn't trading much, I would just sit there and watch it. So I got an order in at 490 to close a quarter of my Boeing if it continues higher. And so I want to see it continue through highs, though. You know, this is a continuation to the upside. You know, I don't want to see it just chop now. Point base hasn't really gone anywhere. On my zero DTE, I got filled at 825 when I sold that iron condor and I closed half at 645. So I went in at four contracts and then got rid of two at 645. And I got an order in to get out of one more contract at five nine at four ninety five, and then I have a ten dollar fifty cent stop. Well, would you look at that? Coinbase decided to come down to right at lows of day. Okay, so Boeing. Ah, it's your it's your Friday for you, right? You're just gonna chop. Amazon just slowly moving higher. Tesla with a nice push back up and now it rolled back over. SP up 10. NASDAQ up 146. Here's what my zero DTE graph looks like. So you can see price is kind of sitting, still sitting kind of right in the middle. Sometimes if, if price moves one way or the other right out of the gates and it gets, you know, off centered, I'll, I'll enter another one that's centered. That's what I did yesterday. But this one really hasn't moved too far off center for me to justify adding another one. Oh, JPM pushing through lows of day. So JPM, potential mighty 90 here. Do I want to try to risk that or no? Yeah, why not? JPM Mighty 90. Again, 7 DTE, I would trade the 137 calls. Try to jump in here. Filled at 198. And 
it's the 137 calls. So it's, it had this mighty 90, and it's pushed down a couple more. So I'm hoping for a little two-bar bounce. Boeing is not going higher. It's going down. So that's a bummer. So let's see what this bar does here. Getting a new one. But you can kind of see on a Friday, you just get some inconsistencies. And you get chopped up, down, up, down. Uh, Boeing, I would close half at 220. Yeah, I thought things started seem started uh, to see like they were getting stronger there, and I thought Boeing was going to rip through highs, but uh, not so much. And this is why I don't trade zero the zero DTE option chain for these strategies because if it just chops, then you theta really decays. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of Boeing. And I'm doing so just because of the, the continuation runner that you want it to continue higher. Hold it $4 to close Boeing. So small winner. Yeah, Coinbase, dang it. Definitely, definitely, definitely would have gotten out of at least half if I held it a little bit longer. Things seem like they wanted to get strong, though. That was the thing. Look at Airbnb trying to come back. At Boeing, you little sucker. But Boeing, you know, they'll probably just chop here. Eat JPM to rebound. With Intel up over 10%, I'm surprised uh, GPM's that weak. <laughs> Look how tight a range Netflix is. I mean, for a $400 stock. Yeah, JPM's pretty tight as well. The only reason I got into JPM is because it had a mighty 90 and it pushed down two more times. So essentially, I mean that's a good a good fill for it. Um, you know, if I would have if I would have gotten in right here at this pivot, which I often do when there's a key level, I would have probably added to it down here. So I essentially got in for the first time where my ad would would have been.
So just looking for two green bars out of JPM. We'll have to wait and see if we get that. Yeah, Boeing. Good out in Boeing. Again, follow the rules. The continuation runner pushes up, consolidating. And if it would have continued higher after these two green bars, you know, that's what I was looking for. It just, just couldn't. Pretty tight range on everything. So JPM, uh, I'm just going to wait for two green bars uh, unless this market starts to get really weak. And just don't think I'm going to get anything else. It's almost 930 Central. And time goes by fast, doesn't it? Um, so I'll post my out in JPM in the day trades channel. Um, but just taking a last look here, I just don't see much happening so let's check the live stream for next week it looks like looks like steve will be with you on monday and then i will be with you tuesday wednesday friday of next week so Oh, see that JPM might is going to give us a green bar. I don't know. Two green bars. I'm out of JPM. But uh, so I will see you guys next Tuesday. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Talk to you later. Peace.